guys. So this is my new uh, bike setup indoors. So the winter is upon us here in Norway and I'm probably gonna spend the whole winter here. And the pool's closed, you know, I've been, all this, this fall I've been doing aqua jogging, swimming, um, to supplement my, well, I, I had a break from running. Now I'm back running, but you know, I'm building up slowly with, in terms of the running volume. So there's, there's room for more training basically. And so ideally I would probably do aqua jogging and the elliptical and spend time at the gym uh, and at the pool, but the gyms and pools are closed, as I said. So, and so I was like, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna fill um, my quota, so to speak, for, you know, because I, I'd like to at least get in, a, you know, six, seven hours of endurance training per week, uh, ideally more uh, as I build, but at the moment, that's where I'm at. And so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get a bike uh, trainer, that's what, it, what, what it's called. Um, I'm gonna insert some footage here uh, uh, from the trainer. It's, it's basically a, a very good one. I actually got a great deal. I was just looking at, you know, the Norwegian equivalent of like Craigslist or Gumtree or whatever. And I was like, I found, um, I was just looking for, for, for a trainer and I just, I just chose the first one that looked decent. And, and pretty much at the lowest price level. So I was like looking for the cheapest thing I could find really. And I found this one, I went and bought it. And then when I came back, I, I realized that it's actually one of the better bike trainers. And the person who I bought it from said she hasn't actually used it uh, all that much either. So it's, it's really great. I'm a happy, really good deal. And so yeah, the wheel basically, um, goes on top of this uh, little thing, this other wheel back here, which uh, provides a little bit of resistance. And then based on the gearing of the bike, uh, you'll have uh, more or less resistance. So it's really nice. Uh, there's a little block in the front to put the front wheel into it. And I put my Garmin watch just there, just to keep an eye on my heart rate. I got a heart rate monitor on. And I, I just look out the window and or uh, watch a documentary or some something entertaining on uh, Netflix, for example. So today I've got a one and a half hour lo uh, sort of long ride. I know in, you know in cycling terms, one and a half hour is not a long ride. I know that. But um, one and a half hours is a decent sort of uh, time. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna ride for one and a half hour. I'm gonna watch a documentary on Netflix and I'm just gonna chill. Uh, nothing crazy. Probably gonna keep my heart rate somewhere around like 120, 125 uh, beats per minute. That's for me, that's about 60, 60% 60 ish uh, of my max heart rate. So that's a good sort of point to be at where you just wanna train the heart and just get some time in. Uh, you know, when you're at a lower heart rate, your heart actually is allowed to fill uh, properly. So at the really, really high, very high intensity type training, VO2 max type of thing, where you're closer to your max heart rate, because of the intense beat, uh, because it's so fast, the rate, uh, the heart is not actually allowed to fill up as much uh, for each beat. Uh, whereas if you're training around 60 to 70% of your max heart rate, um, that heart rate is really ideal for training the heart because you're allowing the heart to fill up with blood uh, to its capacity and it, it's, it's, it's really elastic and that's a really good uh, stimulus for uh, growth of the heart uh, in a good way. So anyway, that's a little detour on the physiology side of things. And of course, if you're interested in more physiology talks, you could check out some of my other videos on that, but I also offer coaching, of course, if you're interested in a customized training plan or just a standalone consultation even where we could talk more about your training or some questions you may be having about um, training in general, running, whatever. Anyway, so that's my setup. This is my Canyon Endurace aluminium bike. Had it for a few years. It's a nice bike. I, I like it and it's proving a really 
good uh, tool for me in these times now, having to train um, at home since there's no gyms, etc. And, and also due to the winter, just being able to just be in my own living room and just sit down on the, on the bike and just grind out half an hour, an hour, one and a half hour. Um, in addition to my running training and of course strength training and that sort of thing and it's really nice so I like it I'm happy about it anyway that's all for today I just wanted to show you guys my setup and um, inspire you maybe to train and to exercise because it just feels great it's fun and it's what we're meant to do you know we're meant to move every day we're not meant to sit still all the time Hope you're doing great. Check out my coaching in the link in the description. Please subscribe and have an awesome day. See ya.